Hi everyone, I'm using Mystical Moments for our weekly reading from Monday the 2nd of October through to Sunday the 8th of October. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. One has flown out there, so I'll leave that to the end to read after we finish the weekly reading. So I'm asking for a message for Monday. There we have the King of Cups. Tuesday, the Page of Pentacles. Wednesday, the Three of Cups. Thursday, the Queen of Wands. Friday, the Ace of Pentacles. Saturday, the Knight of Swords. And Sunday, Judgment. Okay. So I just feel that there is old energy leaving, old challenges are leaving our lives and as these old challenges are leaving we are in this place of, of staying in the moment, of choosing better thoughts, so we're in an in-between stage, we're in the new month of October so universally, the month of October this year is a number eight, which is the strength card. It's the month, uh, the tenth month, which is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's it's asking us to stay empowered in this shift that we're all moving through. So Monday we have the King of Cups, this beautiful card and you can see it is still holding on there to its shape, surveying the ocean, waiting for the right time to place its ship on the ocean. He's surveying the consciousness. The King of Cups is very emotionally mature so he's taking his time using his intuition to to guide him in which direction to move so monday is a day of listening to our intuition we have pisces there uh, neptune retrograding in pisces so things on Monday may be a little bit fuzzy, confusing to go, to come into our heart space, to al allow our intuition to guide us on Monday. Tuesday we have the Page of Pentacles and you can see there this fairy has a water can on her back and she's tending to her roses. So the page of pentacles is, oh and there's a dragonfly, beautiful dragonflies bringing wisdom, bringing magic. So asking us to stay grounded, this is new energy coming in, new magical energy coming in. So on Tuesday it's cultivate the pentacles are all around our earthly realm. What What is in our lives, our home life, our finances, our relationships, to really nurture and cultivate on Tuesday, focusing on what it is that we wish to, to create in our lives. And there is so much magic in this. This is a beautiful card, a magical card. So Tuesday, just the same, we are being held in this suspended place. 
being mindful of what we are we are putting our energies to Wednesday the three of cups a time of celebration a time of celebrating our lives a time of celebrating each other each other's differences and uniqueness the three of cups is all around a, a wonderful news coming in it could be news of a birth new news of a new creative project that we are starting to build and celebrate it so wednesday is a day of celebration to see everything in our life as a celebration there is a beautiful energy that is growing a grow uh, an energy of love an energy of light workers coming together and celebrating each other an energy of upliftment so wednesday a day of celebration find some things in life to celebrate have a a a trip somewhere a a, a a journey somewhere take some time out on Wednesday to just do something that brings joy into our lives Thursday we have the Queen of Wands this is very significant the Queen of Wands with her sunflower the Queen of Wands is the mystic casts earth magic very compassionate, very passionate, focuses on what it is that she wishes to take root in her life and grow. And you can see again, this is such a magical card that are butterflies and dragonflies and all the energy of the divine coming through the div that magical energy so thursday is a magical day to see the absolute magic in everything on thursday the sacredness of everything on thursday friday the ace of pentacles so this is new beginnings we're on a new week so the, and it's a week full of new beginnings so the ace of pentacles from that cultivation on tuesday of really focusing on what it is that we wish to to grow in our lives doing our harvest letting go of of what is no longer serving us holding on to what we we what empowers us the ace of pentacles you can see there that plant there is deep deep down in in the earth its roots go deep down in the earth and when we see any plant no as tall as it may grow the roots go down into the earth and that and that is our roots as well when we focus on our roots and how grounded we are and and from that groundedness allowing our life to prosper in a with strong foundations with strong roots so the ace of pentacles is something new coming in on Friday something new a new idea some some finances coming in from somewhere a change in our energy our health our well-being so a wonderful day on Friday of really taking a step back and looking at the newness the the new beginnings of life 
in its newest form without carrying the heaviness of the past sitting there enjoying our growth and then Saturday we have the Knight of Swords and you can see there she's taking flight things starting to move now after a time maybe where things maybe have been stagnant she's on the angel feathers there being blown along and this is a, a time of synchronicities coming in seeing the synchronicities seeing the sides from our angels and guides pointing us in the perfect direction for our life our life purpose so this is a time of moving making sure that we keep grounded though because some newness coming in this week it's a, a week of new beginnings so making sure that we're grounded keep keep putting our roots into the ground because as as deeper as our roots go grow go the the higher that we can connect but it's it's about the grounding on, on Saturday just keep sending our roots into earth and allowing our mind to open and to connect with the higher dimensions with whether it's we are writing whether we are speaking new messages coming through but keeping ourselves grounded not getting carried away and swept away and someday we have judgment and this card is connected to Pluto so Pluto is opposing the moon's nodes the north nodes and the south nodes again Pluto is the planet of death and rebirth of transformation of when we alchemize those lower energies we then start to create golden opportunities the judgment card is the angel sounding a trumpet there waking us all up asking us all to awaken from a sleep state of being in those stuck energies those the lower dense energy of the third dimension this is the card that's next to the last card next to the world card in the tarot so doing a review of what empowers us and what weakens us what we want what what we wish to move forward with and what it's time to let go of looking at all the stress that we may have gone through and has it helped us and actually stepping into a, a place of our true selves our authentic selves so Sunday is a day of reflection before we start this new cycle in this new season that's bringing in good fortune the, there's a lot of energy big energy in October we have the eclipses starting in October Venus is out of a shadow and Pluto stations direct so a lot of energy shifts occurring this month in October to really just have a quick review take what is 
uplifting and empowering to move forward with and then allow the rest to fall away and then with this card we have the ace of cups love coming into our lives where we have done the work and emptying and letting go of created space for new love to come in into our lives whether it's a new love for ourselves a new love for our work a new love for each other new guides stepping in absolutely new guides stepping in and you may start to feel them you may start to feel their energies around you those mess messages coming in loud and clear with the perfect guidance of which way to to move and looking out for the synchronicities there's definitely a stimulation of the third eye chakra lots of magic this week again this magical energy is just flowing to earth reminding us to have some fun to enjoy our lives, to not take things so seriously. Because when we start taking things seriously, it becomes heavy. To feel the utmost joy of life and every day. In the morning, when we awaken, it's a new beginning, opening our heart up, feeling love. And during this week, being mindful of what are we placing in this, in this void that we're all moving through. Because whatever we place in the, in the void is what we are planting to manifest. Being mindful of our reflections, what's reflecting back at us, and to alchemize. If it isn't love, alchemize it. Opening up, and you can see the butterflies in this card, in this Ace of Cups. She is in the water there. The water is still. She, butterflies emanating all around her, flying all around her, transformation. And she is wearing orange, so a transformation of our relationships. We've got those nodes, the, the moon's nodes in in Aries and Libra guiding us to transform our relationships to find that calmness that stillness in order to rebirth transformation so we have one major arcana this week judgment the energy of the nodes, Libra, Aries, what are we putting out there in this spiritual energy of cause and effect? When we put love there, it transmutes transmutes everything, transmutes every area of our lives into a beautiful experience. Opening our eyes now, seeing with clarity from our soul, seeing with clarity from our soul into the soul of everybody else. This is a new beginning beautiful transformation occurring. 
So have a wonderful week. There is an energy, a beautiful, subtle energy that's building and building. And as we focus on that beautiful energy of transformation, of love, it builds and builds until we tip the balance. And love is all that we see and is all we are. So wonderful week, whatever you do this week, I'm sending magical blessings there, love there, and thank you so much for listening, thank you so much, have a wonderful and magical week, thank you.